And there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness. And I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet-colored beast full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. And the angel said unto me, Wherefore didst thou marvel? I will tell thee the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carrieth her, which hath the seven heads and ten horns. The beast that thou sawest was and is not and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit and go into perdition. And they that dwell on the earth shall wonder, whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world, when they behold the beast that was and is not and yet is. And here is the mind which hath wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sitteth. And there are seven kings. Five are fallen, and one is, and the other is not yet come. And when he cometh, he must continue a short space. And the beast that was and is not, even he is the eighth and is of the seven and goeth into perdition. And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings which have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as kings one hour with the beast. These have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. These shall make war with the lamb and the lamb shall overcome them. For he is Lord of lords and King of kings, and they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. And he saith unto me, The waters which thou sawest, where the whore sitteth, are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, ye shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. For God hath put in their hearts to fulfill his will, and to agree, and give their kingdom unto the beast, until the words of God shall be fulfilled. And the woman which thou sawest, is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth. Chapter 18 And after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen is fallen and is become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. And beyond that abyss I saw a place which had no firmament of the heaven above and no firmly founded earth beneath it. There was no water upon it and no birds, but it was a waste and horrible place. I saw there seven stars like great burning mountains, and to me, when I inquired regarding them, the angel said, This place is the end of heaven and earth. 
this has become a prison for the stars and the host of heaven. And the stars which roll over the fire are they which have transgressed the commandment of the Lord in the beginning of their rising, because they did not come forth at their appointed times. And he was wroth with them, and bound them till the time when their guilt should be consummated, even for ten thousand years. And I proceeded to where things were chaotic, and I saw there something horrible. I saw neither a heaven above nor a firmly founded earth, but a place chaotic and horrible. And there I saw seven stars of the heaven bound together in it, like great mountains and burning with fire. Then I said, For what sin are they bound, and on what account have they been cast in hither? Then said Uriel, one of the holy angels, who was with me, and was chief over them, and said, Enoch, why dost thou ask? And why art thou eager for the truth? These are the number of the stars of heaven which have transgressed the commandment of the Lord, and are bound here till ten thousand years. The time entailed by their sins are consummated. And from thence I went to another place which was still more horrible than the former, and I saw a horrible thing, a great fire there which burnt and blazed, and the place was cleft as far as the abyss, being full of great descending columns of fire, neither its extent nor magnitude could I see, nor could I conjecture. Then I said, How fearful is this is the place, and how terrible to look upon. Then Uriel answered me, one of the holy angels who was with me, and said unto me, Enoch, why hast thou such fear and affright? And I answered, Because of this fearful place, and because of the spectacle of the pain. And he said unto me, This place is the prison of the angels, and here they will be imprisoned forever. And Uriel said to me, Here shall stand the angels who have connected themselves with women, and their spirits, assuming many different forms, are defiling mankind, and shall lead them astray, into sacrificing to demons as gods. Here shall they stand till the day of great, the great judgment, in which they shall be judged, till they are made an end of. And the women also of the angels who went astray shall become sirens. And I, Enoch, alone saw the vision, the ends of all things, and no man shall see what I have seen. The goal of this video is to determine um, what Babylon is, because I believe scripture clearly tells us uh, where and what it is and what it's all about. Um, so we want to look at this verse right here. This is Revelation 17 verse 3. Uh, this is when John was standing there and an angel came over to him. He said, So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness. That's very important. We have to remember the context of where John is when he sees this woman, uh, Mystery Babylon, and sees her riding on the beast. And I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet-colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. So the angel took him into the spirit, into the wilderness. So he's not in a physical place anymore. And uh, he sees this woman uh, drunken with the blood of the saints and the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. And when he sees her, he wondered with great admiration. So we, that's very important. We have to remember that. He wondered with great admiration at what he was seeing visually. Okay, in Revelation 17... 7 says and the angel said unto me wherefore didst thou marvel i will tell thee the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carrieth her which hath the seven heads and ten horns okay this is important because uh i looked up this verse in the greek um and just the order of the sentence uh and it makes it a little different to me um it says uh, on the right side at the top there, it says to me, the angel, because of why you did marvel, I will tell you the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carrieth her. Um, that's important because he says, because. So it was because John wondered with great admiration that the angel showed him the mystery. And so we're going to learn that right now. Verse 8. 
The beast that thou sawest was and is not, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit and go into perdition. And they that dwell on the earth shall wonder, whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world, when they behold the beast that was and is not and yet is. And here is the mind which hath wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sitteth. Okay, this is important too. Um, and they that dwell on the earth shall wonder. Remember, John wondered with great admiration. And the angel said, Because of why you marveled or wondered, I will show you the mystery. So uh, I'm getting the idea that uh, marveling or wondering at this beast with great admiration is not the thing that we are to be doing because of what it says after that, whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world. When they behold the beast that was and is not and yet is. So this tells me they're going to see this beast. So I went and looked up the word in Greek and it was 991 blood ponton and look see perceive discern I look see so what this tells me is that there's going to be something uh, during this time that people in the world can look at and they will be divided into two different kinds of people by looking at this thing uh, when they behold it they are going to either wonder at it or they are not going to wonder at it and this is how the foundation of the world book is divided up i guess okay going back to enoch chapter 18 remember when he said i saw there seven stars like great burning mountains i was in revelation 8 and something caught my eye Okay, this is Revelation 8, verse 8. And the second angel sounded, and as it were, a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea. And a third part of the sea became blood. Okay, so that's pretty much the same terminology there. The great mountain burning with fire. Uh, the Enoch said the same thing. Now here is where it gets interesting, is in Revelation 17, verse 9 says, And here is the mind which hath wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sitteth. And we have to remember that these mountains are actually stars that transgress their order, according to Enoch. So, interestingly, we read about another prison for devils. Uh, this time in Revelation, and we already went over it, but I'm going to say it again. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. So I looked it up, and this 2732 down towards the bottom, a habitation, a dwelling place, a habitation, abode, dwelling place. Okay, for a minute... I want to show you something uh, in 1 John chapter 2, verse 26. These things I have written unto you concerning them that seduce you. We need to start understanding who our enemy is. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. We need to take these words seriously. Let's look at the word seduce. Leading astray. 4105 Strong's. Let's look at this. It is the root of the English term planet. Wandering body. This term nearly always conveys the sin of roaming. I lead astray. Deceive. Cause to wander. Okay, remember Enoch in chapter 18, verse 13, said, I saw there seven stars like great burning mountains, and it was a waste and horrible place. Remember John went in the spirit into the wilderness? Well, here's what I think. I think these seven stars transgress their order, and they could be the seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sitteth, on which Babylon sitteth. 
There are seven kings, five are fallen, one is, and the other is not yet come, and when he cometh, he must continue a short space. And the beast that was and is not, even he is the eighth, and is of the seven, and goeth into perdition. You're looking at it right there, I think. Don't laugh just yet, though. Um, okay, going to the ISS, all these people have gone there with astronauts. But these five can't go anymore with astronauts. Only Russia can, okay? So that's why this beast that was and is not and yet is with seven heads and ten horns has the feet of a bear, okay? Um, let's go back to Revelation. 13 verse 2, And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. SpaceX Dragon resupplies the International Space Station, and it uses the Falcon 9 rocket to lift the dragon into orbit. So to end this video, let's watch this SpaceX animation of just that. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. And he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, threescore, and six.